We had a, uh, I had to go buy a couple bowls until I can run their water line. Open us. So, uh, got both water lines complete all the way around to the um, pig pens. Do a little boot shining. Boom. Anyway, uh, pigs have continuous water now, so check it out. Ready? Yep. So this is our well, and we're put in a Y so that we could still use our hose, but also feed the water the pigs. So off this one, we plumbed in pipe, PVC pipe, and ran it all the way down, and all the way across where we put in the nipple for the pigs to drink out of, and they've made a big muddy mess already. We put in galvanized pipe here, that way the pigs, because they're so rough, they won't be able to break the piping. And then, as soon as we get it, well, now that we're finished with this one, we're gonna go ahead and plumb in a second one over to our second pig pen where they can also get themselves water when they need it. But we're definitely gonna have to do something here so that we don't have a huge muddy mess every day. And we used our we used our tiller to help dig the trench out just to make it easier. So we tr actually tilled all this and then used the shovel to clean it out. And now these three little piggies have water. Yay! Here's the nipples we used. <laughs> I think they're thirsty. <laughs> Take a look at the second water line for pin number two. So here's the first one we showed in an earlier clip. Oh, I tried to get in, did you? So, here it is. Here's the second line. Comes in, good foot and a half off the ground. Pumped in the PVC, and then underneath the ground. Well, somebody turned it off. Uh oh. Darn kids. There you go. Get back, get back, get back. Let's go find out. Off too. Yep. Somebody turned your water off, didn't they? Move out of the way, bacon. So it's off. See that? They turned it off. Because they got to drink out of the hose. Turn the hose off. Pig lot. He's drinking. He's drinking. There you go. And now these turkeys are fighting it out. He's like, get off me. All right, water's back on. The world is right once again. I was told to place the nipples about a foot and a half up off the ground or high enough where they just barely tilt their heads back when they get a drink. In the other pen, I put it up a little higher, but I also uh, put a railroad tie underneath it, so... That should help. So the first step to training 4-H pigs is getting them to interact with us instead of running away every time we walk in the pen. First we get them to come to us and let us touch them. And we did this by using marshmallows. First we tossed them over in their general area and then uh, we would toss them right at our feet and then we could feed them by hand. That took about two days. So far we've had them for five days and we can pet. Uh, now we're up to three out of five. Those two are still pretty skittish. They're the ones uh, that would run at the sight of anyone. Now they'll come up and eat out of our hands, but we can't touch them or they 
shy away. So we're getting there, but the, the three littler ones in the other pen we can touch and pet and um, play around with them. So uh, they're getting much better. Lucky still doesn't like being in his own pen, but uh, we've let him into the pig pen to see what he would do, and <clears throat> the little one started running away, and he gave chase and wouldn't stop chasing. So we had to remove him from the pig pen.